Hello, I'm Maruk Said, your microbiology guide. Let's explore in-depth micro techniques and uncover groundbreaking insights together on this educational journey into the fascinating realms of microbes. Mate pair sequencing: principles, steps, and genomic applications. Table of contents. Introduction. Principle. Process steps. Advantages. Limitations. Applications. Introduction to mate pair sequencing. Mate pair sequencing is an advanced next-generation sequencing technique designed to generate long-insert paired-end DNA libraries. This method involves sequencing two DNA fragments that are located far apart in the genome and are oriented in opposite directions. Unlike conventional sequencing methods that primarily focus on smaller, closely positioned regions, mate pair sequencing targets distant genomic regions. This distinctive approach effectively bridges large gaps in DNA sequences, making it particularly valuable for applications such as genome assembly and the identification of structural variations. By providing long-range genomic information, mate pair sequencing enables the accurate mapping of extensive DNA regions and offers insights into complex genomic structures. Additionally, it can be integrated with short-insert paired-end sequencing to achieve comprehensive coverage and high-resolution analysis of the genome. Principle of Mate Pair Sequencing The principle of mate pair sequencing involves creating libraries of long DNA fragments, sequencing their ends, and using the resulting data to map the large regions between these ends. This technique is designed to sequence DNA fragments that are widely separated within the genome, enabling the collection of long-range genomic information. In mate pair sequencing, long-insert DNA fragments are used, and data is captured from both ends of these fragments. This dual-end sequencing provides insights into the ends, as well as the expansive regions between them, effectively bridging large gaps in the DNA sequence that conventional sequencing methods might miss. This makes it especially valuable for studying and accurately identifying complex structural variations. It is particularly advantageous for detecting genomic rearrangements such as inversions, duplications, deletions, and translocations, which are often overlooked by short-read sequencing. The process begins with fragmenting the DNA into long pieces and labeling their ends. These labeled fragments are then circularized, bringing their ends together to form a loop. The circular DNA is subsequently broken into smaller segments, which are easier to sequence. The original long fragment ends are captured and subjected to paired end sequencing. This method provides bridge coverage, allowing the inference of sequence information across the regions between the ends of the long fragments without requiring full sequencing of those regions. With relatively minimal sequencing effort, mate pair sequencing can reveal genetic alterations and large structural changes within the genome. If you have watched till here, don't forget to subscribe to Family of Science Lovers. Press the bell icon button so you are always updated. Process Steps of Mate Pair Sequencing 1. DNA Fragmentation The mate pair sequencing process begins with fragmenting the target DNA into large pieces, typically achieved through mechanical shearing or restriction digestion. 2. End Labeling and Circularization The fragmented DNA is size-selected, and the ends are labeled with biotin, these labeled fragments are then circularized, bringing the two ends of each DNA fragment into close proximity. Non-circularized DNA is digested to remove unwanted material, leaving only circular DNA. 3. Fragmentation of circular DNA The circularized DNA is sheared into smaller pieces to enable capture and sequencing. Because the ends of the original long fragments are now linked within these circularized fragments, both ends can be captured in the smaller segments. 4. Affinity Purification Enrichment The labeled fragments are affinity purified to isolate those containing the original DNA ends. Biotin-labeled fragments are enriched using streptovidin-coated magnetic beads, 
ensuring that the sequences captured represent mate pairs. 5. Adapter ligation. Sequence adapters are ligated to the purified fragments. These adapters facilitate the attachment of the fragments to the sequencing flow cell for the subsequent sequencing steps. 6. Sequencing. The enriched DNA fragments are sequenced to capture data from both ends of each fragment. The final mate pair libraries consist of short DNA fragments that contain sequences originally located several kilobases apart. These libraries are then used for paired end cluster generation and sequencing on next generation sequencing, NGS platforms, such as Illumina, providing sequence reads from both ends of each mate pair. 7. Data Analysis After sequencing, the reads are aligned to a reference genome to determine the genomic locations of each end. This analysis helps to identify gaps, structural variations, and complex genomic features, offering insights into the broader genomic landscape. Advantages of Mate Pair Sequencing Mate pair sequencing produces longer DNA fragments compared to traditional short red sequencing, enabling more accurate assembly of complex genomes. It is highly effective in identifying large structural variations, which are essential for studying intricate genomic structures. While more expensive than standard sequencing, mate pair sequencing can be a cost-efficient solution for analyzing complex genomes, reducing the need for extensive resources required by other methods. The technique finds application in diverse fields, such as cancer genomics, evolutionary biology, and de novo genome assembly, showcasing its versatility. The longer DNA fragments generated provide comprehensive long-range information, critical for precise genomic mapping. Limitations of mate pair sequencing. Mate pair sequencing is relatively more expensive than other methods due to the additional steps involved in sample preparation and enrichment. Preparing mate pair libraries is a complex and demanding process, requiring skilled technicians and specialized regents. The analysis of mate pair sequencing data is challenging and necessitates advanced bioinformatics tools and expertise given the large and intricate structural variations it uncovers. The technique can sometimes yield lower quality reads, which may require further filtering or cleanup during data analysis. High quality DNA is essential for creating accurate mate pair libraries, making it difficult to work with degraded or low quality samples. The large insert sizes and the detection of complex structural variants can occasionally result in false positives, requiring careful validation of the findings. Mate pair library preparation is time-consuming and often takes longer than other sequencing preparation methods. Applications of mate pair sequencing Mate pair sequencing is highly effective for detecting large structural variations, such as inversions, duplications, translocations, and deletions, making it valuable for identifying genetic mutations linked to diseases. It facilitates the analysis of structural variations across different species and uncovers evolutionary relationships by identifying how DNA has rearranged over time, which is particularly beneficial in evolutionary and comparative genomics. The method is instrumental in de novo genome assembly, as it bridges gaps and creates a more comprehensive genome map by connecting distant regions of the genome. In clinical diagnostics, mate pair sequencing is employed to detect large structural changes associated with genetic disorders, aiding in accurate diagnosis and guiding potential treatment strategies. It excels at resolving repetitive regions in the genome, which are challenging to sequence using short red methods alone. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon button. Thank you.